Hi, in this video we'll talk about how to draw via base and 3D solder bumps balls in ADS layout. So um, there's a workspace that's shipped with this Knowledge Center article called EMPRO 3D SA Work. And there's also a library of EMPRO based 3D components that is shipped to the EMPRO, which is archived as part of this Knowledge Center article. So before we proceed with um, how to define these, let's install the library from EMPRO. So in this case, it's already been done. So go to Manage Libraries, and that is the library that's been imported from EMPRO and installed, basic components for ADS. So when in this workspace, there's a layout called VR Solder Bumps. If you open that layout, it has a set of circles drawn on the layer called PCVR1, which represents the bumps. And then we have two traces, which might be a flip chip mounted on top of this array of solder of bumps right here. With this, you can define a substrate stack up to represent the solder bumps. So here we have the metal called Cond, which uh, is this metal here drawn on Cond. And then um, we have the PCVS drawn on the layer called PCVR1, which represents the solder bumps. So this is an approximate method of representing solder bumps, which can be simulated both in the momentum and the FEM EM tool in ADS. Let's let's look at the 3D representation of this structure. And then the next session we'll talk about how to actually draw 3D solder bump to replace these via based uh, solder bumps. So here's the 3D view. So the structure in green is the actual solder bump. In 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 the same workspace, there is a layout called EMPRO 3D SBS. We click on that. So that's the actual original layout that we drew and with those PCVR based uh, solder bumps. This structure here that you see is the one that was imported from EMPRO and installed. When you install the EMPRO, library in ADS. There are four components. The first three are SMA components, and then this is the one that we're interested in. So we click on the EMPRO view. This tells us that it's drawn in EMPRO, and if you click on open EMPRO, you can actually see the representation of the solder bump. These are parameters like height, min diameter, max diameter, and divisions, and arc, arc resolution, uh, which are used to represent this solder bump. And they're also exported when you save it in EM Pro, and they're accessible in the component called solder ball array in ADS. In addition to that, there's also a linear pattern that is applied, and then this parameter is called dx, dy, which is the distance between the solder bumps in the x and y, and nx and ny are the number in the x and y direction. So if with this methodology, you can draw any structures in EMPRO, and then it's accessible in ADS layout. If we double click on this array, which is already placed in this layout, this shows us all the parameters that we exported from EMPRO, particularly dx and dy. In this case, 400 microns. That's the distance in the x direction and in the y direction between the solder bumps. And then nx and ny are the number of solder bumps in the x and the y direction. And then max diameter and min diameter are the diameters of the actual solder bump in the z direction. 
So the important thing when you place this EM Pro base solder bump is to make sure that it's placed exactly at the middle of the structure so that it's aligned with the solder bump that is drawn in the 2D layout. So now you can look at the 3D view again. We're launching the 3D viewer with our DM processing. And then we see the, the green structure, which is a 2D based vias which were used to represent the solder bump and in this gray structure which is slightly offset just to kind of demo and that is the actual 3d based solder bump once we have this then we can actually remove this 2d based solder bump and that's shown in this layout right here so here we remove that and if you click on the the 3d view again we'll see only the 3d EM Pro base uh, solder bumps here. With this, then you can um, do any EM simulation, um, in this case, FEM, and integrate your die and module and PCB. And you can um, do a full simulation of your complete design. And here is um, the 3D view of the solder bump with the traces on top. So that concludes how to draw VR based and 3D solder bump balls or bumps in uh, in ADS using the 3D EM components from EM Pro.